Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Fiesta Active Vignali walk around video. But before we get stuck in with a walk around, if you're enjoying these walk arounds and want to see more of them, click that subscribe button and join the ever growing community of Perkins Garages subscribers. So, this here is a Munda Silver Ford Fiesta Active Vignali MHEV. So, that is a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So, what that means for you, the user, is there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge. You simply jump in it, drive it like any other vehicle, and get some very competitive MPG at the back of it, which is partly thanks to the 1 litre EcoBoost engine producing 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through a six speed manual gearbox. The vehicle itself is on just over 1700 miles, but like always, I'll get the exact number once you're on the dash. The Fiesta is registered on a 72 registration, meaning you're taking forward warranty all the way till September 2026. Got it. Right, so the first port of call, like always, is the near side front of the vehicle, and here I present to you the wonderful remote central locking key. Clicking the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps, the bit that appear to be flashing in your video at the moment. They're flashing simply because the frequency in which my camera records at, but let me assure you they're not a strobe light upgrade. They just give other road users the ultimate visibility, meaning you're always going to be seen no matter the lighting conditions. Moving south from there, we can start to see our beautiful chrome. Actually, I forgot to mention these are the Ford LED headlights. That's Ford LED. You got some very, very lovely LED headlights. Anyway, so we go into the gloss black shrouding with a slight chrome strip around it as well. And that leads me on to the colorway of the vehicle. So we've got the lovely moon dust silver body paint. We have the gloss black front grille, the shroudings behind, and the black roof, which I shall come to in a moment. Before we walk all the way around it, I was just going to say this bit underneath the number plate, that little dully black bit, is a front facing radar responsible for some of the driver assistance pack, such as pre collision assist. Again, I'll cover the assistance pack in its entirety once I'm inside the vehicle. Moving ourselves around now, we get to these beautiful 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels. A so machine cut give it a silver shiny face with the in again gloss black just behind the active fiestas have a raised ride height so i believe it's 26 mil higher at the rear and nine mil higher at the front ready for an active lifestyle or active driving so i'm just going to draw your attention back round to the windscreen we have some sensors beautiful sensors that sensor there is a light sensor and that is for the automated lights so as the sun goes down and the moon comes up your lights will come on automatically Further north at the top of the windscreen, now that long one is a traffic speed sign recognition camera. This can be used in coordination with the intelligent speed limiter, meaning when you pass, drive past a differing speed sign, your limiter is going to change automatically. Perfect for town or city driving. Top left is a light sensor for the auto high beam, and top right is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. Whilst I have your eyes on the roof, let's talk about this panoramic glass opening roof. As you can see, we have a black roof and that pane of glass just nuzzles itself in the middle there. You can see how low that sits to the vehicle, letting an abundance of light and fresh air into the cabins. That's going to be perfect for the spring and summer months ahead of us. And though this is not a flycatcher that distorts the wind, so you don't get that horrible whooping noise. Back down to the body of the vehicle, we're going to lock the vehicle like so with the key because on the door handle we have those four wonderful lines to say we have keyless entry. So simply a tap behind the door handle unlocks the vehicle and tapping on those four lines again locks the vehicle. Very convenient system if your hands full of shopping, maybe children or anything in between. That is complemented inside the vehicle with a keyless engine stop start button. Again, that two-way color scheme continues with rear privacy glass. It's really a nice two-way colorway on this vehicle. And now, taking a step back on the offside rear. This is the stage of the video. I just shimmy the camera side to side and down the offside of the body, hopefully displaying to everybody watching this video how beautiful all the body panels are. Got a nice bit of light this side. Wonderful. Then we can link that back round to the offside rear wheel and again give you a good look at that. These are lovely 18 inch alloys, big fan of them. 
18 inches of pure machine cut alloy. Quick mechanics lesson if you're interested, that there is a drum brake. So drum brakes are a perfect rear brake solution for a vehicle of this shape and well, size, weight and power. Uh, rear drum brakes are ultra low maintenance, meaning you're not going to have to replace any parts in there for a very long time. That is because they self adjust inside. Don't panic, the technicians still open them up on service and inspect them. Also, the handbrake is situated in there as well. Started to move around the rear of this Fiesta, we have rear parking sensors, which are complemented just beautifully with a high definition reversing camera. And I'll show you what that looks like on the sync module in a second. To the right hand side, we have the EcoBoost hybrid badging, and to the left hand side, Fiesta. So again, we're going to give the near side the exact same treatment. So starting off nice and acute to the vehicle, it's going to gently rock the camera side to side. Hopefully showing everybody how wonderful these body panels are. Like so. And concluding the wheels with the near side rear. And following it all the way down to the near side front. Like so. You see all the alloys are in perfect condition, very low mileage vehicles. So the tyres, as you can see there, are good as new, going to last you a very long time. Right, so that's the exterior taken care of. Let's have a look inside the rear. So the release point for the boot is just to the left hand side of the camera. There. And that exposes the ever faithful Ford Fiesta rear boot space. Fiesta has been a staple of the British motor industry for a very long time. That's because of the versatility of it. They're not too big and cumbersome, but you still pack a punch in the rear. They're a bit of a TARDIS system, so big enough for a couple of suitcases, a couple of little doggos, or a baby alligator, if you have one. Uh, underneath the boot liner there is a tyre sealant kit and compressor still in its cellophane wrapping. That's going to be perfect for fixing any nails, screws, and going to get you to a garage where you can get your tyre replaced safely. But it's very convenient. I know that I wouldn't want my mother changing a spare wheel on the side of the M11. I'd rather I just plug that in and get herself to safety, personally. Now looking inside the rear of this wonderful Fiesta, obviously I need to unlock it, otherwise I'm not going to be allowed in. So, ha, ah, here we are. So, starting at the door cards, from top to bottom we have a hard-wearing plastic leading down into the window controls, where obviously four electric windows, so you get a corresponding switch on every door card. For the first time, let's spin that camera around for the rear seats. Then we've got the beautiful active interior. So you get the active pattern down the lower back and base part of the seat, leather around the outside, and a suede material in the middle. With the ever classic now active blue stitching. ISO fixing seats, we have two of those, one on the left hand rear and another on the right hand rear. So clip the kitty seats in, keeping them nice and secure. And just for food for thought, we have left, obviously, the active mats in there already so that's one less thing you have to worry about after purchasing the vehicle pointing the camera up to the sky quickly it's a nice opportunity to just show you how much light is let in by the panoramic sunroof let's go have a look at some goodies shall we i just realized my microphone was uh, on a different journey so i'm sorry if you didn't hear any of that Okay, so on the door cards again, hardware and plastic leading into a synthetic soft touch leather into all four window controls, rear window locking and electric mirror adjust at the front with interior locking found just left of the door handle. And for the last time, let's spin that camera around showing you the front driver and passenger seat. So again, it's that nice ebony leather perforated down the lower back. We have the suede section there as well, leading into the base part of the seat again fantastic condition lever lovely suede in there as well these are manually adjustable seats so you have a rear tilt a height adjustment and forward and backwards is done on the conventional rail just underneath the seat i'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone so please just bear with me a moment okay Where's the dashboard gone? Oh, it's a digital driver display. Right, so the exact mileage of this vehicle is 1,751.6, and look how gorgeous that Fiesta digital driver display is. So like I mentioned earlier, the keyless entry system is complemented with an engine start-stop button. To press your foot on the clutch, the light goes green, one click on there, and that wakes everything up, turns the engine on, etc. 
So to begin, I'm gonna give you a quick tour around the screen ahead of us. So this is the brand new driver display. So the left-hand side is a coolant temperature sensor with a digital speedo in the middle. The bottom section is the odometer, ambient air temperature, and a digital readout of the fuel gauge with a bar graph just to the right-hand side. RPM times 1000, counting the revolutions of the crankshaft, also known as the output power of the engine. In the middle section there, we have a uh, display we can flick through. So the first menu is a hybrid gauge, then we're into live tire pressures, followed by the fuel economy. So it's been averaging 42.7 for those that are interested. There you go, 42.7 over the, the duration of the vehicle's life. Um, coming down, so yeah, we can then click on the menu button, and then we can go to select screen. So from here, you can select what you'd like to see. So if you don't want to see hybrid gauges, you can uh, unselect that and maybe go for traffic signs instead. Coming out of there, we've got your audio for your stereo, navigation, phone settings, settings for the screen. So in there, you can uh, things, see things such as oil life, tire pressures, and local hazard information. And we've also got display settings so you can change it to kilometers an hour if you wish. We've got the tachometer and the eco coach. Fantastic. Right, so there's a couple more party tricks with this screen. Being an active, we have selectable drive modes. So I'll show the button in a second, but that includes a normal, an eco drive mode, sport, slippery, trail, and back to normal. But whatever, let's go to sport, for, yeah, let's go slippery. Whatever mode you put the vehicle into, it's gonna change the aesthetic of the screen. So now in slippery, you get a nice icy blue screen look. And so it gives you a different aesthetic. Fantastic, very nice indeed, big fan. Right, I'm just gonna slide my chair back a little bit. Otherwise, you might just see all needs for the next bit. Uh, dig out my microphone as well, so you can all hear me. Marvellous. Right, thanks for your patience. The right-hand side of the steering wheel is the arrows, return and OK menu button to control the screen ahead of you. Below it, we have a voice command to pick up, decline and previous and next song function. Left-hand side of the steering wheel is where you find the buttons for the cruise control. So left is your cancel, with your set speed plus and minus in the middle. Standby is top right, speed limiter bottom right. Then we have a volume plus, a volume minus, and a mute button at the bottom of that cluster. Progressing now into the central part of the vehicle, an old school seven click handbrake there. We have tension, sprung tension ha um, cup holders there, so your coffee's not gonna go flying everywhere. Somewhere to pop some change. Down there, three different buttons. One there is going to be selecting the drive mode. This one will turn off the traction control, and this one here will turn off the automated stop start. The six speed manual gearbox controls gear stick is just found in front of it, and I love these gearboxes. It's a very positive sensation. They pop in and out just lovely. And uh, yeah, the construction of the one liter eco boost is you get the power coming nice and early in the power band, meaning they rev higher. So that's why we have the sixth gear to lower the revs when we're cruising and then we can get some very good MPG because of it. There you go, learning lots about vehicles today. Left-hand side is a 12-volt socket, and the right-hand side is a USB-A. USB-A's deliver 2.1 amps of charging. This would be perfect, or we have another one in here. Actually, this would probably be more ideal. If you're planning on using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, plug in your data cable just down there, pull your wire through this little hole here, so when you close the box, your wire's not gonna be under any tension. We'll come back to CarPlay's in just a minute. First of all, we need to talk about your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. First off, fan speed is found to the left-hand side. Different demist are found to the left with automatic at the bottom. We have different flows events in the middle, recirculation, and two air conditioning found to the right. Temperature control is found to the right-hand side with turn left for cold and turn right for hot, and on and off is there as well. But don't worry, you still get the digital readout up here on the screen ahead of you. This vehicle has fitted the winter pack, so that includes two heated front seats, heated steering wheel, and like always on a Ford, you get the electronically heated front windscreen. So perfect for those winter months where the windscreen's all frosty, because that will demist or defrost your screen in a matter of seconds. Moving your attention back up to the screen now. So this is a Sync 3.4 module. We have the dark blue band at the bottom, so we know it's the updated software. It was very nicely constructed. The software is fantastic. Starting off audio, bottom left, so your radio. You have different sources, such as FM, JB, and Bluetooth audio. Back out of there, next up is your phone. So this is for Bluetooth connectivity. Click the add phone, pair your phone via Bluetooth in your settings. 
Next in the middle is the sync navigation. I use this system all the time on my vehicle, opposed to Apple CarPlay, because I like it. Whatever works for you. Uh, for example, you'd like to come to Perkins Garages to have a look at this Fiesta. You shall need Charlie, Mike, 77, 6, Sierra, Alpha. Click the search box and that will navigate your route here to Perkins in no time at all. And don't forget, once you click start, you can have the directions appear on the screen in front of you. And after you've got used to this screen, you've used it a while, you can save your favourites, points of interest, and things such as that in there. So if you did need to quickly set your navigation without touching the screen, you can go through the menu in front of you, which I think is a very nice feature. Now we're just going to click back, 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 back to the home page. I could have just clicked settings, to be honest with you. Um, I said to you earlier that I'm going to show you the, uh, the driver assistance pack, and that includes goodies such as your speed limiter, which can be set to intelligent in there, look, intelligent. Then we have your lane keeping system, traffic sign recognition, rear view camera, wrong way alert, park pilot, driver alert, and rolling stop start speed threshold. So tons of little goodies in there. But again, lane assist, that working off that front sensor. If I previously mentioned it has a pre-collision assist, I apologize, it doesn't on this one. But um, you still have the front facing radar, things such as your lane keeping system. Ah, oh, got the spec wrong. Into vehicle next, this is where you can find all your vehicle settings. And that includes different chimes, wipers, so your rain sensing wipers, your, your lighting, so your auto high beam. There we go. And you've got things such as your locks in there as well. So that is this uh, sync module in a nutshell. You have the four pass connect app, it is a manual, so it's restricted features on there. There's still a few goodies to go at. Before I go anywhere, I'm just going to pop the vehicle into reverse to wake up the high definition reversing camera. And to the right hand side, you shall have the rear parking sensors, which will give you an intermittent beep that increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question. But again, a nice crystal clear camera there. And as you turn the steering wheel, that's going to navigate you in to any other tight parking spaces. So the last point I wanted just to mention to you is this screen is fully compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So whichever software you have on your mobile phone, plug it in using that USB port that I previously showed you and it will mirror your phone onto this screen here. So for example, I am iPhone, so my iPhone will be replicated or on this screen here. So there's many applications that are compatible, such as your navigation, so Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze. If you like your Apple Music, for example, Spotify, they're all usable. For me, the main feature is you can use your voice assistant. So for example, Siri, I can click on the voice command button on the steering wheel, wake up Siri, and from there I can ask to do a whole range of tasks, whether it's make phone calls, set navigation, play music, what's the time, what's the weather like tomorrow, anything you like, but it's all gonna be keeping your hands off your phone whilst you need to be driving. Fantastic. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did have any other questions you're not sure on, or even like a little FaceTime appointment, a little one-to-one, -one, I can arrange that for you. Please do give us a call, 01376 550 899. Again, if you like the video, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you again real soon. Bye-bye for now.